In today's video, we are tackling a design challenge that many people struggle with, transforming text into complex shapes. This can be a really frustrating process, especially if you are using tools like Adobe. It takes time, patience, and a lot of understanding of the software to get the results that you want. But here's the good news. I'm going to show you a much easier way. With Kittle, transforming text into any shape or design is super simple. In just a few clicks and drags, you can create stunning designs that would normally take you hours. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use Kittle to achieve this step-by-step -step so that you can start making these trending designs today. All right, so here we are within Kittle. As you can see, they have a bunch of de pre-made designs done for you already that you can easily tweak and make it your own. But today we are creating our own design from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is come up here to new project. And I'm going to be making a design for the mental health niche. I already kind of have an idea in mind. So let's see if we can bring my vision to life. If you do print on demand, I always suggest 5,000 by 5,000 canvas for the best print quality. Here is my canvas. So I'm gonna come in here to elements and I'm going to look for a girl silhouette. Okay, this is part of my vision. Um, so girl, and I want to show you the reason why I want a silhouette is because if I just type in girl, which you totally could still do, um, but let's say I choose this and I want to turn it into a silhouette. You can change any design into a silhouette by simply doing this. Um, come over here to the white and we would change this to black. And now this just looks like a black gumdrop. <laughs> uh, so you can't tell that it's a silhouette of a cartoon girl, right? So that's why I'm just going to right away, I'm going to delete this and come up here and make it easy for us by typing in silhouette. And as you can see, that is an option. So here are some silhouettes. I'm picturing like just the head of a girl. Let's see, maybe some like voluminous hair. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna scroll and get some ideas. That's really pretty. I like this one, which there is some white on that, but again, I can turn it all one color and I will show you how in just a moment. This is kind of a nice one. Okay, there are plenty of options as you can see, but I think this one will work really great for what I'm about to show you. All right, so here's this, and I wanna make it all one color. So you click on the image, and then I'm gonna come over here to the white, because it's going to change everything that is white on here. And you can change it to any color that you want, you know, but I want it to be a silhouette, so I'm turning it black. There we go. All right, so there is my silhouette. And you could change the whole silhouette to a different color too, but I really like black for this one. I'm picturing this on ash color sweatshirt or um, like a cream color shirt. I think the contrast is going to pop out really nicely when I show you the colors of the fonts that I have in mind as well. All right, so there's that. I want to use the saying, be kind to your mind, because remember, I'm creating for the mental health niche. Now, if I were to sell this in my shop or sell this anywhere, I would be going to USPTO.gov to double check that be kind to your mind is not trademarked. It may be, I'm not positive. So this is just for educational purposes. If you choose to use the quote, be kind to your mind on your products, please make sure that it's not trademarked first. All right, so I'm gonna come here to text and I'm going to add a headline. And I'm going to do all caps, B, and I'm going to just bring this over. It's so small, so I'm going to make this bigger. I'm just going to move this to the side for right now. That's what I love about Kittle is like you can bring things to the side of the canvas, you know, before adding things to it. So be um, kind. And then I'm going to put two, two, your together. And then mind, be kind to your mind. And I am going to lock her in place. The way you do that is just right click and then this toolbar appears and you click lock. So now she's not going to move. All right, so now I am going to highlight all of those and I wanna change this 
to this sunny drop text. I love this retro um, font, I mean. All right, so now I have all of my elements. I want each line to be a different color and I want it to be bright and vibrant because for mental health, I just, I feel like bright and vibrant um, promotes more positivity. So let's see. Um, so I'm gonna come here, you just click on the color. I'm gonna start with pink, my favorite. And I'm going to bring this over and I'm gonna turn it just by clicking this little thing right here. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. Okay, so now you make sure you're on the text and I'm gonna come here to transformation and I'm going to click distort. You can do any of these, but this is, we're fitting the text into the design. So you click distort and then you just kind of play around with it to fit into your shape. There's like really no perfect way. You're just kind of rounding it out to the edges of the shape. All right, so there's my first word. Now I'm going to double click this and I think I'm gonna do orange. All right, we're gonna bring this over here and I'm gonna turn it. I think I want it to like fit into this area right here. So then again, I'm clicked on this word. I'm going to go to transformation and click distort. And now I'm going to play around with it. That looks nice there. This is a pretty easy one, but like you can shape the text into really any shape. If you ever wanna, like as you can see, when I click on here, it's not letting me distort it. So if that ever happens, you click on the text and go here to edit text, and then you're able to play around with it a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna do this one. Let's see, I think like a purple. This one like kind of fits in already nicely for me, but we're gonna fix it a little bit. So transformation, distort. And now, whoops, mind gonna do yellow and then just store okay for time purposes I um, took my time and I fix these up a little bit um, to fit better so here is what I have it looks a little bit plain to me still so I am going to add in maybe some flowers I'm gonna come over here to elements and type in flower all right I think this one kind of fits the vibe so I'm gonna choose this get smaller and I'm gonna put that right there and I'm going to duplicate that and put another one right here. And I'm gonna duplicate that and put another one here, I think. Yeah. And then I would maybe erase part of this neck so it's not like too much black showing down here. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much it. You can use Kittle for free by clicking the link in my description below. I hope this tutorial helps you save time and inspires you to get creative with your own text-based designs.